Hello, I'm Marta and with this poster I'm presenting the end cap timing layer for MTD that will be installed at high luminosity LHC to help CMS cope with the high pileup and high radiation levels. Here you can see the whole workflow on how uh, the sensor for MTD for ETL is uh, created. So how we start from R&D and we reach the uh, final perfect sensor for ETL. And then we also need to implement the ETL geometry in CMSSW so here I'm showing the work I've been doing adding also some dedicated algorithms for reconstruction and simulation and finally I performed some studies to uh, show that uh, the impact of the MTD and in particular of ETL uh, on the physics analysis of CMS. Hello, my name is Polina. Uh, over the last years, uh, artificial intelligence has uh, big, uh, brought more and more advantages into our world. And in the CMS experiment, uh, we try to use the, the most state-of-the-art techniques and uh, algorithms. In this poster, we work with uh, uh, ECAL calorimeter of uh, CMS, and we created a new reconstruction algorithm using uh, the latest models in uh, AI, namely convolutional and uh, graph neural networks. Uh, with our new reconstruction architecture, we were able to improve the precision of the reconstruction algorithm by 40% and improve the background rejection from 10% to 0.1% and moreover, reconstruct more pi zero particles, uh, two times more pi zero particles, which is very important for uh, a lot of physics analysis. Hi, I'm Nils from Ghent University and I worked on the first observation of four top quark production at the CMS experiment. So four top quark production is a simultaneous production of four top quarks and uh, top quark is the heaviest elementary particle we have ever observed and this also makes four top quark production the heaviest final state we have ever observed at the CMS experiment and at the LHC. Now, four top quark production is especially interesting to us because it's a very rare process and this also makes it very sensitive to new physics. The observation of photo quark production was finally made possible thanks to the massive work in improving everything, uh, all the data processing at CMS and better understanding the data. And this led to a final statistical significance of 5.6 sigma and a uh, measured cross section of 17 femtobars. Hello, my name is Gamze. I am doing TTHH to 4B analysis in the Dye Left On channel. We have in the final state we have six P tag jets and two left ons. And we have uh, two problematic backgrounds and we have a very fancy method to separate this uh, backgrounds from our signal, which is called Gatcha. This is a recently introduced method for our analysis and it gives a very very promising results actually and there's a very good separation between these two backgrounds and our signal which uh, we would like to improve for the next steps. Yeah.